One of the leaders of the Sikh community in Britain has condemned the shooting as an act of a coward. But Mr. Harshadan Singh, General Secretary of their Supreme Council, also said Mrs. Gandhi was more or less asking for it after ordering her troops into the Golden Temple. And in some of the biggest Sikh communities here, there have been celebrations at her death, as Kim Subide reports. The reaction by the country's largest Sikh community in West London was perhaps predictable. Indeed, as church members handed out celebration sweets and let off fireworks, community leaders could hardly conceal their joy. We said that in June 1784 that we will kill her and we, no one believed at that time. But now everyone in the whole world should take it seriously. We have done it, we will do it again. Sikh people certainly are satisfied at this particular moment. But I would like them that uh, this is not the time of rejoicing. They should, all the community in this country should behave calmly and should not pose any a law and order problem in this country. For most of the day, the police kept a low profile, only stepping in to talk to Sikh leaders. I'm confident that, in fact, they are going to do uh, whatever is uh, possible. And I shall be meeting with community leaders later today, and uh, we will ensure that we continue to act in the most responsible manner possible. This evening, after a day of action, London Sikhs finished off their celebrations in modest style. Kim Sabido, ITN, West London. Birmingham and the West Midlands have the biggest Sikh population in the country, and the mood here was one of jubilation, as Sikhs handed out celebration fruit and shouted, Indira Gandhi is dead, outside their temple. But the Indian community is a divided one, and for those who virtually worshipped Mrs. Gandhi, the impact was different. At Hindu temples throughout the Midlands, services of mourning have been held all day. And at those services, Hindu leaders have appealed for no retribution. But that appeal is made against a background of local violence since the Amritsar siege in June. The worst attacks took place in Birmingham, when an Air India office and the Punjab National Bank were bombed by Sikh extremists. The police here, who've handled repeated Indian demonstrations, know that the atmosphere between the two communities is at its most tense. Michael Macmillan, ITN, Birmingham. In London, many political leaders... And one which one day had to be...